Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a haul video. I'm going to be showing you um, all the goodies that I picked up. Uh, well, I'm going to say yesterday morning because I'm publishing this tomorrow, but it's really still Saturday. <laughs> uh, so I've got everything set up here in my garage. And so I was going to show you guys what all I got. Skippy, say hi. Can you say hi to everybody in YouTube world? Say hi. Okay, let's get busy, I'll show you. But first I'm gonna show you this gate that I got uh, yesterday morning at Goodwill, it's $14.99 and um, how I've got it set up and um, how the dogs are loving it. We were out here last night, I was tolling around out here in the garage and um, the dogs out there are so smart, just sitting there um, looking at people and barking at them as they went by. So I'm um, really happy with my purchase. So let me show it to you real quick. Okay, so we are gonna go check out Madeline's Playhouse that I got today for two bucks at a garage sale this morning. So she had a friend over earlier today and they worked really hard and they cleaned it up and they put it up here in her forge. So I just put that tarp over there. We used to have one that came the playset, but yeah, it got all messed up and it was super hot today, so we threw a tarp up there. All right, sister, tell us about your new dollhouse. It's a Barbie dream house. We know it's vintage for sure. Yeah, it but looks old. Yeah, look at you got some Barbies in there now. Yeah. It looks so nice and clean. You want to show everybody how it makes some noise? It doesn't work anymore. So. It's not working. Maybe it'll work later. It needs to dry out because they had the hose on it and soap and water cleaning it. I see you put some food in the oven and some clothes in the um, some clothes in the little laundry. Um, but when you press this sink. It makes a noise, and you press the toilet, it makes a noise, and there's a doorbell over there that makes a noise. Very nice. And look, show them the laundry chute from the second floor. So you can and put your laundry in there, and then it'll shoot but, down here, I'm gonna show you it into the washing machine. So it's close, and then you put it down there, it lands right there. <laughs> Very nice. So tell them about that third story level up there. Um, this one? Tell them what that one is. So it's double duty, right? Yeah, so like with Barbies, they want to watch a movie or play music, they can. It can be a playroom. Yeah, it can fold up and there's like speakers and there's like this little thing where you can put a DVD in and it's right there. It's like a Barbie doll movie. Right, and then what else can it be? It can be uh, a... You said it can be something else besides a playroom. Right? It can be a bedroom. Like a game room? It can be a bedroom. It's like a little half yeah, uh, pony wall with a little Murphy bed that pops out. It's kind of falling over, but you can um, open the door and then you can do... Yeah, the stairs. That. Take the stairs. And go down. I don't know what this uh, little thing here is. It just moves. I don't, I don't know what that could be for, baby. Hey, why is Ken hanging out over there with that girl in the corner? What are they doing over there? I accidentally threw Ken over there. <laughs> Poor Ken. Let him hang out with the Barbie and have some, what does she have out of there? Some eggs and bacon or something? Move back, I can't see. She's having spaghetti. Is that your American Girl stuff? Yeah, because uh, I couldn't really find my Barbie food. So. Okay, so when we go garage selling next weekend, Madeline and Austin, what are we going to be looking for? Barbie furniture. Barbie furniture for her new playhouse. I did her hair. Yes, Madeline is getting so good at doing hair. She watched, um, did you watch some YouTube videos to learn that one? No, it's just a braid. Okay. You know, you guys, um, parents, if you're watching, uh, they have a safe YouTube channel just for kids, right? It's called YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids, yes. But, um, and I put these, like, little Shopkins presents right there. Very nice. She like her mommy. She like a Christmas tree all year long. And look. <laughs> what, what one's that? Oh, it's a Christmas tree, uh, Shopkin. And it says from Santa on it. It's this one. Very cool. Um, so it was so Oops, funny. She fell. Uh, okay, sister, thanks so much for showing me, baby. Wait, hold on. What? And um, okay. <laughs> the fridge makes a noise when you open it, but it doesn't work right now. So. Yeah, that is very nice. I love it. Now you better get your bath soap back in the bathtub. It doesn't belong out here, okay? What? I see it over there in the corner. Oh. So it was so cute. Her, when you come back inside, bring that in. Her and her friend were out here playing Love It or List at that show from HGTV. <laughs> I love that show. I love to watch it whenever it comes on. 
And then when they started playing it, it was just so adorable listening to them talk about it. So, all right, thanks, Sissy. You're welcome. I'm gonna go show everybody my hanging baskets real quick. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my hanging baskets. That one's just, uh, I think those are, what are those, like petunias? Those are impatient. This is my pretty one I got at uh, the Gulf Coast Equine. So the side of it looks better. It's a bougainvillea. I love it. Love it. And then I got this one at Walmart. It was like six ninety seven. There's my little birdhouse my mother-in-law got me. And then just some ferns, some portulaca one. And then that's my spider plant. I need to show them something. What? Hmm. Okay. You showing mom your narwhals? Yeah, but I have one more that stains waffles, but she's inside. Wait, I'm gonna go get her. Madeline loves the narwhals. Look, there's those two pillows I got the other day at Goodwill for $2.99. I, mean, I think they were $3.99 each. So they look good in my little, my little setup here. I got this furniture set up last summer for 15 bucks at a garage sale. Two chairs and a table, $15. Okay, and what's what's this one's name? Waffles. Waffles. And that's, uh, this is Syrup. Syrup. That's her sister. Okay. And this is Eggs. Eggs? That's, that's her mom, Eggs. Okay. And I got this one from Justice and it was the last one. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, and then I want to show you guys, we do have uh, some milkweed here in this habitat. And we have one caterpillar that will turn into a monarch butterfly. Alright, now I'm going to go uh, show you guys my haul video. Yeah, Skippy. Well, Coco didn't want to come outside. I guess she thinks it's too hot. So, but I did want to show you the fence. So, here it is. So, I've got blocks off over there. So Skippy can be looking, he can be hanging out with me here in the garage, uh, watching people walk by and do their thing. Kurt's uh, trying to get Coco out here. And so I got it all laid knocked around that messy stuff over there to where they can't get out. Here's Coco. Did you come out, Koki? You say hi to everybody on YouTube. So yeah, let me move this chair. What y'all think? Huh? What do you think? You like your new little setup? Y'all can come out here? I think they like it. So, um, Kurt, when Kurt came home, he's like, I was telling him about the whole cat thing, right? And he's like, well, Tanya, have you talked to the dogs about it? <laughs> and um, so now let's talk. Let's sit down and have a serious talk. Skippy, Coco, come here. Let's talk. So, Mommy wants to talk to y'all about um, getting a cat. Now, it would be a rescue baby cat. Uh, hey, where are you going? I'm talking to you. Come back here. Yeah, stay right there. I'm talking to you. Uh, and so, you know, we'd get her as a baby, right? A little kitten. And then you guys would have to love her. Do you think that's something y'all could do? And get along with her, Skippy? And not terrorize her? It might be the other way around, Coco. I mean... It might be that the new kitten tries to terrorize you. I mean, I just don't know. What do you think? I mean, it just could be that way. So, um, we'll see. I'm thinking around Christmas time. I think it'd be a nice Christmas present for the kids if we got a baby kitten. But I definitely want to wait that long because I feel like it's important to really think over a big decision like that, bringing in another little family member into our house. We should think about it long and hard and make sure it's uh, definitely what we want to do. Oh, what Skippy's trying to be a little Houdini over there and escape. So, I'll just drive on by. <laughs> oh my goodness, I bet you those people are uh, curbside picking up trash. They have a bunch of stuff in the back of their truck. We have those people come to our neighborhood all the time. Okay, so let's get to this haul video, you guys. I'm going to be lazy and just sit here if I can <laughs> for a little bit anyway. Okay, so you guys better get away from those boots. Mama's keeping those. So that uh, fish picture right there, 
I think, oh, look, check it out. There's like a, let me get up. There's like a little dragonfly there or something. I don't, oh, it is signed. It's signed. Olga Oakley. That is really cool. Um, it's definitely not a painting, though. It's just a print. So, Coco, don't you hike your leg up over there. Don't you dare. That's one thing about them being out here. I've got to watch for Oh, she's looking for her toys. You got your dinosaur? That's her little dinosaur over there. Coco, you got your dinosaur? Huh? <laughs> See how she talks to Skippy? You better not even think about it, buddy. Okay. So, you like the picture, Coco? Is that why you came over here by it? So, it's like a... A bass fish, like a wide mouth bass fish, I guess. Five bucks. I'm gonna put that in my antique booth. Watch out, Skippy. Here is another picture picture I picked up. This one here, uh, real pretty angel. I love the gold, uh, the gold frame around it. It's really pretty. I paid five bucks for this one, and I'll probably put that in my antique booth too. I'm thinking probably about forty bucks on that one. Probably about mm, thirty on that one, maybe. Skippy, no move. Uh, and then I got these boots, uh, three pairs of these boots here. They were $3 a pair, and I'm going to keep all of these boots for me because um, they're my size. These are a, these are Lauren by Ralph Lauren, three bucks. And so I do need to go through my, my boot inventory, and if I like these, any of these better than the ones I already have now, then I'll just get rid of my old ones. And I love a tan boot. I don't have any tan boots, so I'm really excited to have found these. These are, they were three bucks too. I forget who they're by, maybe Forever 21, I think. They look like suede. Uh, here's a dark brown, pretty chocolate pair. Love these. These were also three bucks, like an eight and a half wide. I don't mind having a wider boot. I mean, a wide shoe, especially in boots. Um, but yeah, like the uh, lady I bought these from said she's really just a flip-flop and a boot girl. You know, uh, she's like, really, that's all I ever, ever, all I ever really wear is flip-flops or boots. And I was like, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm pretty much the same way too because I'm usually just wearing flip-flops or Birkenstocks uh, and then my boots, really. I've got some Spearies I need to probably part with because I never wear them. I could be making some good money off of them, probably. Um, here are those sheets. I can't remember if I showed you guys. Let's see, it looks like the flat sheet and a fitted sheet and uh, two pillowcases. So I'm not even sure what size they look like. Maybe probably a twin or a full. But even if they're too small for our beds, I like to have those laying around for the kids to... Uh, wrap up with on the couch or whatever, especially when they have friends over, sleepovers. I picked up these Nine West super cute little shoes. And these were also $3. There's a price on those, three bucks. Watch out, Coco. Um, here is my bin of hangers that I've been getting when we've been dumpster diving. And look at this shirt. Let me lay it out so you guys can see it. Now, I did get a lot more clothing, but I'm saving that for my video later on this week. This, I paid a buck for it. It says, I brought the swag. What did you bring? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought that'd be a fun uh, shirt to rock during the winter time. It's a long black sleeve. So, wear that. Uh, these are the crates I was telling you guys about. I picked up both of these at Goodwill this morning, two for $14.99. Uh, this is the t top one where I was telling you it looked like it has some water damage on it. Uh, but it's got a really cool shift there. The hinge is also loose on this back one here, but I can totally put like shoes for uh, eBay, store them in there. And then what I'll do is I'll put this top one on top of here. And this is going to be uh, probably holding a, then I'll probably put a plant on top of this. If I remember at the end of the video, after I clean everything up and get it set up, I'll show you what it looks like in my living room. But yeah, the top one, the smaller one's definitely a lot nicer. There's the price tag. Uh, I paid for it. Yeah, this one's in better shape for sure. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, so picked up a plant. I don't know if I'll put this in my booth yet or keep it. 
Uh, there's that little side end table I was telling you about. I might spray paint it and put it in my booth. It was only $2. Probably paid too much for this. I paid five bucks for this plant. Now, this is some of the items that I got at the rummage sale yesterday morning. This is the cool piece I was telling you guys about. There's a dog treat. Here, Coco. You didn't get one. Okay. So this is the cool piece I was telling y'all about. Let me turn to get it so you can see it good. So isn't that neat? It's like heavy brass and I'm gonna turn the light on out here, see if that makes a difference. Where's my light? There's my light. Oh yeah, this is a little better. Uh so yeah. I don't even know what I paid for them. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of stuff for real cheap. So I don't know where I'm going to put them yet or if I'm going to sell them. He's missing one of these, but I've got enough uh, loose pieces of jewelry. There's one missing there, too, to where I can just uh, replace that with something that will definitely match. And the back is signed Nepal. Also there, I got this really cool conch shell. You guys know I love the nautical decor. But this is actually a little nightlight. And it's got this little lever here to turn it on and off. You can tell it's all, look at the plug. Um, and you guys saw this little candy dish holder that I got. Um, I might keep this to use here at home or to use it for some display pieces in my antique booth. And then this is, this is that cool little cup that I found. Um, my friend Bonnie sent me some information about this. It's actually like a mulberry color and it's very uh, sought after. So, um, I'll probably put that on eBay. Although I'd like to keep it. I can't keep everything, guys. Uh, these are a pair of shoes I found at the Rummage Cell. They are spirit, real pretty blue. Uh, almost like, like with some glitter. And I believe these are a size 11. And they were only $2, so that's a good deal. These, uh, this pair of Spearies right here, I got at Goodwill. I paid up a little, they were $7.99, but these are a cheetah print. And these are a lady size 12. I always, always, always pick up the Dansko. They're really good sellers. Um, my Goodwill seems to put $7.99 every single time I do a pair of Danskos. Or I see a pair over there. And these are those Seychelles that I told you guys I bought. The boots, kind of a southwest print. They were 10 bucks. Okay, you guys saw that. You guys saw this uh, from my video yesterday. Love this, it was only a buck. Here's that phone I told y'all picked up. Looks like somebody just quite literally cut it. But I've got some crafting ideas, I'm gonna mess with it. Last weekend I picked up a bunch of records. Thought I'd show y'all. Um, they're 45s actually, so I'll have to set those aside for a rainy day unless those. And here's the mask I found. I'll do some kind of crafting with that. I love the Mardi Gras mask. Um, picked up this cross pen here. I love the way these uh, finer pens and pencils write. Really nice. And here's a really cool vintage pair of shoes. That I got at the rummage sale. I kept the box with them just so whenever I do go to list them, I can, um, if there's any information on the box, I can include that and then I'll probably just throw the box away. It will not come with the box, I don't think. What do you guys think? Should I include the box for the sale? They smell a little too. Also at the rummage sale, I got these uh, coach shoes and actually last night when I was setting all this stuff up I noticed this almost looks like a heart so I'll get those listed on eBay and Posh these I actually bought for me y'all to wear when my feet aren't swollen like to church that they're really pretty um, and super com comfortable that they're that soft I'm trying to get it to a soft brand and this is the kind of hill I like to walk in like a wedge hill <laughs> not a stiletto I'm not a stiletto girl like this. There's no way I could walk in these. I could sit down and look good in these, but I can't walk in these. <laughs> so these are by Franco Sarto, and they smell amazing. You can still smell the leather on them. They almost look like, um, with that bow right there like that, like a 
Salvador Ferragamo almost. That's a real, really good brand to pick up also, you guys. Especially the ones with the bows here. They're very collectible. Or they have been for me in the past when I'm buying them. Now here's that sign. I think I got that Friday. Dogs are always a great idea. Haven't decided if I'll keep that or put that in my booth. Uh, so I think that's everything. Uh, I had gotten this a while back. I can't remember where I got it now. This three-tier display piece. I think I paid five bucks for the garage sale last year. And I'm thinking about spray painting that either gold or red. And uh, maybe putting it on my back patio. Getting some of that raffia colored material. I forget what you call it. Grape stuff. I can't think of what you call it. Cutting it and putting it in there and putting some like plants that flow over. I think that'd be a really fun project for my patio. Uh, there's my groovy vintage 60s chairs. I got two of those that Kurt can't stand that I love. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, ooh, there's that it. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. I think they're so smart barking. Bye, y'all.